He's actually wearing a shirt. It's your returning champion, Elgin Tensity, aka Traps of the North Star. The issue happens to be one which is the the law of the jungle, the way of the beast, and it's how we got where we are in civilization thus far. What I'm talking about is the seeming necessity that some people feel that they need to cut down, destroy, attack others in order to succeed themselves. I only attack you people on YouTube so if they're full of shit, like you. To Otherwise, I leave them alone. Uh, a leader or a king or to move forward or to succeed, it is necessary for me to detract from someone who happens to be above me in this particular way. Well, and there's nothing wrong with a cheap here, shot here and there. I am roasting people after all. Practice of capitalism. When I say capitalism, I mean you capitalize on opportunities. You capitalize on opportunities to equivocate. Looking, or those who are not playing the same game, so they happen not to be carrying the, the sword the same way you are. My economics professors neglected to mention the importance of sword stance. Down, right? I mean, I live in America. We live in the United States. And it is a, when they say capitalism, America capitalized on the opportunity to destroy an entire race of people that lived here. Right? I mean, literally, cutting off their head with swords and, and, and pushing them into the desert to die and capitalize on you know, their, their power to bring African slaves Way to trivialize ocean. slavery. And Aren't your parents from Belize? Turn in your fucking brown you card. You know him by his fruits. In other words, what goes around comes around. So when a baby girl and dies in a car crash, what did she or her parents do to deserve that? The fitness community found it necessary to attack and capitalize on the seeming CT Fletcher capitalizes all of his words more successful people in the fitness industry and YouTube more successful at selling snake and, oil uh, by the way his name is England I'm so used to people and, butchering uh, my name I'm just gonna keep a stiff England upper lip and let that go something of that sort but anyway it's been shut down because he uh, he took a stab in fact no stab would be too harsh he threw his pebbles at a giant it was a real and life David and Goliath Philippine versus Philistine just turned around and went <sighs> Spit fire, just you know, he's, he's he's burning up right now. But burning up with over a thousand new subs a day. A warrior in this particular way, so he will bounce back. I bounce back this the video same day. Is to address his attacks towards me, from my per, from my objective as I possibly can perspective, and also Anglin. Gavna. This video is for you, meaning I'm going to proceed from my heart. Using your heart against the lawyer. Talk about throwing pebbles. Guidance. I'm going to offer you some insight that will support you as you continue to grow in your kingship. And I want to approach you from that perspective. I am a loving king with an empire far greater than yours. Is that empty warehouse your throne room? There are some experiences and wisdom that I have that I'd like to impart upon you, even though you hurled your stones in my direction also. You threw stones at me. I, I ripped you a new asshole. Way. And I didn't turn around to even acknowledge you because I'm focused. No, you didn't acknowledge me because so my channel was unknown. So Ever since my channel blew up, suddenly you started caring about so what I had to say about you. That for a stone to hit me in the back of my head is I won't even let it be a distraction. Boom, I just keep going. Boom, boom, I'll just keep going. You see? Because I'm busy. Let's go get some barbecue and get busy. I never even watched their videos. It's my fans who've watched their videos and said, Elliot, you've got to do something about this. You've got to uh, hurl back in some particular way. But what you guys, my fans, you don't understand is, I'm busy, dudes. Look at that beehive I'm of activity back there. I've seen science way. classes you in Alabama with more with people me. in them. You keep growing stronger in your intensity. There's and intensity, and then there's infinite Elgin intensity. What's happening through Elliot Hulse? To further empower and embolden you to take your eyes off of mere distractions. Funny, CrossFit and didn't see me as a mere distraction. On your journey to becoming the strongest version of yourself. You gotta see the intensity and the focus, the focal point of moving in such a direction with such intensity that mere distractions, hurls of insults, should not derail you. Until the people Don't who insult you hit 36,000 subs. Beast. Don't feed the troll. Do you see, especially when it's, listen, England, you're but 1% of my kingdom. Of 150 pounders that don't lift. Okay? Okay. When I was growing, and I still continue to grow now, and this is what I do, I look to those who are 
greater than me in a particular way because no one's better than the other person. Contradiction? Look, you're more intelligent than me. You're a lawyer, for God's sakes. And you attack me with your, in your intellect. That's easy. You make it easy. Okay? It's easy to make fun of Elliot Hulse. Why does he keep referring to himself in the third I'm person? I'm quirky. I'm weird. I say some shit that just sometimes doesn't even make any sense. Remus doesn't make any sense. So for you to attack me is like taking candy from a baby. But I'm a big fucking baby. And it's just that reason that I'm a big fucking baby that perhaps, in fact, if I was in your shoes, what I would have done was to humble myself and come to the big retard, Elliot Hulse, and ask, how might I grow a kingdom? Have you seen the analytics that for my old channel? They fucking rule. It's just that dumbass CrossFit had to issue Please, bogus copyright strikes. A little bit of your wisdom. Even if behind it you're saying, retard, 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 I think he's an idiot. How I don't That's respond fine. to wisdom for my 500, job has Alex. Never been. My goal has never been to prove myself more creative or intelligent than anyone else. My goal Before Elliot really became the village idiot of the strength training community, he actually put out solid videos. But I guess they didn't pay as well as this shit does. Working its magic through me and those who are attracted to it. I have nothing to prove. I don't need to be right. That is my problem with Elliot Hulse, Elliot Hulse. You don't give a shit about being right, and you have people who follow everything you say. You don't see a problem with this. kings in this particular way, and I'm going to move forward from that place. If I haven't done so already, I want to offer you my respect. I've seen what happened, I've seen what you've done. I see the good in you, I see your power. You're intelligent. You're hardworking. Stop. You're creative. Pshaw. You're entertaining. I'm good at video games. And by this new challenge of having your YouTube channel shut down, I'm sure you will prove to be perseverant. Put your traps up and back away from the thesaurus. You won't give up. Those are the marks of a warrior king, someone who knows their power, is willing to fight for it, and also a magician. I have yet to In make that, anyone disappear. You're an intelligent guy. And like I said, my hat goes off to your intelligence. The monotone David Copperfield. You see, your cleverness. If you're going to continue to grow, if you're going to continue to do this, in such a way that you spread seeds of abundance. And when I say seeds of abundance, and when I use that term abundance, I don't necessarily mean making money. Because I see you taking stabs at making money, and it's in a very mm, immature way. Do you see? Uh, you've got your t-shirts and stuff. Objection! This is interesting, this is cool. But you're not going to even receive the fruits of abundance if you are proceeding from the place which you're proceeding from. So you're not going to spread abundance. In other words, your kingdom won't grow. My old channel got 1,400 subs a week, bro. And I know you're frustrated about that. You've even remarked, people have told me, that why does this Elliot Hulse have over a million subscribers between his two channels? Why does this asshole, this idiot, this moron... With a forehead that rivals mine... ...have so much more, and I'm so much more intelligent than he is. I'll tell you why right now, and take notes, because this is what you need to work on. Platitudes? I might not be as clever as you. I might not be as smart or intelligent or creative as you. But I move from my heart. I'm a lawyer. That doesn't compute. The sentiment from which I proceed is aligned with the universal laws. With God, if you will. Of course, I will not. A very loaded term. I hope you can follow me. But God's on my side, because I align myself with universal laws. I align myself with copyright laws. And the universal law of sowing and reaping goes as this. You plant shitty seeds, you get shitty fruit. Where does shit fruit go on the pyramid? You're planting shitty seeds because oh, you're not the proceeding bottom. from your heart. You're proceeding from your cleverness. You're, taking, you're trying to take people down with your cleverness. Oh, there is no you're try. from a place of fear. You see CrossFit and you're, you're afraid. They so shut me down, I get back up the same day, and I'm afraid? Weaknesses. The way they do chin-ups. You know, there, there are so many things about them that are easy things to stab at because you're clever. But you're coming from a place of fear. I am but a midget 
in the world of CrossFit. And standing next to Omar. CrossFit is a I'm the same height though, so it's okay. Gigantic, I mean, thousand, ten thousand pound gorilla. Are you across Me? the street from a zoo? I might be five hundred pounds. You, you're still a baby monkey. And from that perspective, I respect, appreciate, even embolden and empower the movement of my dominator. Because I spread seeds of abundance. I move from a place of love, unity, oneness. Equipment and discounts. From the truest sentiment that when the tide comes in, all boats rise. The better CrossFit does, the better that 10,000 pound gorilla does, the better I do. Until a CrossFit opens across the street from you and snags your clients. You, my baby monkey friend, are sitting on your tree branch. I'm on a tree branch. You call a tyrant baby king. You're sitting in your high chair. I sit in a steel case leap. At a gorilla that can just go smack you down, and a 10,000 pound gorilla that just went like this to you. Bang! Look how well that turned out. You will recover. I know you will, because you have the seeds of greatness in you. But you've got to check your heart. You've got to check the sentiment from what you which you proceed. I often quote Ralph Waldo Emerson in saying, Time for more butchering. Every action, every action, that means from the look in your eyes, the inhalation and exhalation of your breath, the words proceeding from your mouth, the way you pick up and put down a barbell. Spoken word ass motherfucker. Every action is measured, it's tainted, it's infused with the sentiment, the feeling from which it proceeds. The sentiment you're proceeding from is a weak one. I proceed from skepticism. You're moving from fear. I don't believe you. You're going to get fearful fruits, and fearful fruits are shitty fruits. I love how he hasn't addressed a single point I made about him. And you're being forced to eat this piece of shitty fruit right now. Again, I don't believe it'll kill you. You will rebuild. But take these words into consideration when you rebuild. I did fine without your dumbass advice. Take the power that's infused in you, which you truly have. It's all up here. All of your cleverness, that's why you're a lawyer. Rhetorical skills. You can read and regurgitate. You can argue. You can butcher Emerson quotes. You're clever. And bring your heart into alignment with it. I don't need a heart. Google needs a spine. And CrossFit needs a new spine. A clever mind without a warm heart is the enemy to all mankind. And you will spread seeds of not only fear, but fear's cousin. What comes with fear? Fear's twin, which is violence. So these aren't identical twins. And if you live by that sword, you're going to die by it. I died by a farcical copyright system. Ground your cleverness in your body. Begin to breathe deep. You see all the crazy shit I do in my videos? Shake I think his response was actually a bigger failure than his strongman career. Body so that I can open up the muscular system. All of the muscles in your body are associated with per certain emotions. Feeling an emotion happens in your body, my friend. You've got big traps. True, true. Because I've got them too. And you even create uh, your t-shirts uh, flaunting your Become traps. a better dressed version of yourself at infiniteelgentensity.com. But the traps associated with the neck and the jaw and the teeth are muscles of fear. Do I really need anything more authoritative than Wikipedia to refute that? Look at a cobra. Someone who's ready to fight does this. Your big ass traps. AKA are BATs. Your because you can fight with them, but they're your curse because they're built up through your fear. Nope. Carrying my groceries home four blocks every week. I look at your body and I see fear. I see a little boy, and I don't say this to put you down, I say this with pure empathy. We're probably around the same size. If I wanted to put you down, I would have picked up my heavy sword. I would have turned around, and I would have sliced. But my sword's way too heavy to carry, 
If something's too heavy to carry, just mix in bumper plates the way you normally do. Pick it up, there will be bloodshed. So don't take my language as aggression towards you. See it as empathy, and coming from the same place I've always proceeded from. And that is pseudoscience. And that is love. I see a scared little boy with big traps who's trying to protect himself. I see a light-skinned Deepak Chopra. You've got gifts, and you're clever. And now the other ball. I don't want to win you over to my style of exercise, personal development, philosophy, psychology. Pontification, quackery, alchemy. But I want you for a moment. I'd like to invite you to feel what it's like Everybody wake up, to it's be almost over. in your belly and your heart. Because your true power I almost fell asleep recording this. Is in your body, is in your sexuality, is in your feet, is in your grounding. And you don't have it and that's why your traps are so built up. You said yours are built up too. I'm gonna put it this way. Watch my videos. I'll need a deload after this. Study the strange things that I say. And for once, I'd like you to try. Put your head away for a moment. It's going to be difficult to, for you because this is your greatest... Stop thinking, clever man. Stop Shut running, Flash. Shut it off. And breathe into your balls. Not that shit again. Allow that. It's going to be difficult. <sighs> nope. Lungs. It's going to mean that you have to put away the sword for a moment. My balls and my sword are a package deal. It's going to have to... It's going to require that you put away the fear for a moment. Package deal. The having to prove yourself to your daddy. Because that's really what I'm a metaphor for. That's what CrossFit is. We're a metaphor for your daddy. And whatever you defined your entire you identity daddy, by your uncle. So don't talk to, to me about daddy issues. Do, or you were never good enough for him. Put that away for a moment. You're good enough just the way you are, Anglin. This reminds me of the scene from Godfather 2 where the guy intentionally mispronounces Corleone. Because you come from the same powerful source that I come from. That feel when... I pray that you see this, and that you can get out of your own way. Breathe into your belly, breathe into your pelvic floor, ground your energy. Shut off your head, put away the fear, put away the experiences with your father. Put away trying to prove yourself over me or anyone else. I make fun of Freely the Banana Girl too. I don't just make fun of guys. Get in touch with the love, the, the, the sadness of your hurt. Release it all. Let it out. I bet it's going to begin with anger. Let I'm angry at anger YouTube's copyright system and, screaming, throwing, and the fact that CrossFit dad, can't take a joke or 10,000. bed with a tennis racket, screaming all the uh, demons associated with your pain. Get he has yet to address any of the points I made about him. Instead, he tells me to stop point. being clever and angry because, of course, I threatened him. Out. The demons. I just want you to feel this once, and you'll become addicted to it, and you'll realize that that's the true source of your power. And then, my friend, I'll be your I friend when you start you, making sense all the and stop that hitting on me. Built up in your head, all your intellect will be infused with the same power that makes my kingdom so powerful. So Congratulations, powerful. you have a kingdom of missers or missers or whatever it's called. Not to shut down, cut down, detract from your daddies. From those who are bigger and stronger than you. For those of you but who are still awake, that was exercises in futility. I don't have a problem with Elliot personally. I just disagree with the way he disseminates so much bullshit to his massive fan base. Until he cleans up his act, I'll clean his clock. Daddy's home. Zero! Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Now. Like the